And they're not taking this White House. We're going to fight like hell, I'll tell you right now. President Trump steadfast in his attempts to stay in office. This is America. We have elections. We have results. We make arguments based on the fact and reason, not conspiracy and fantasy. What should be a procedural day to certify the election results is now political theater, as several members of the GOP plan a final attempt to overturn the results. Despite these futile efforts, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will take office in two weeks. Let me just tell you something. We're going to be inaugurated, period. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. In just a few minutes, a joint session of Congress will begin counting electoral college votes to confirm President-elect Biden's victory. But this comes as one of the races to determine which party will hold the majority of the Senate is still too close to call. Meanwhile, we know the Senate will have one more Democratic seat after the highly anticipated Georgia runoff elections yesterday. CBS News projects Reverend Raphael Warnock has defeated incumbent Kelly Loeffler. The win will make him the state's first black senator in history. In an interview on CBS This Morning, Warnock described what this means to him. I'm just